Hello everybody, this is Terry Jeanette with the Tapping Flamingo. Today's video, I'm going to be leaping into my stash. You kind of get that? Today's leap day, February 29th. So this is actually a challenge that's hosted by Ayla Avar. I believe I'm saying her name right. But I will leave a link down in the description box below so you can check out her channel. She's actually been doing leap into my stash all month long. So I hope you check her out. So the reason I'm leaping into my stash is because I need to make a necklace. Our dance group is getting ready to perform for a, a luncheon and it's going to be a spring Easter theme and we're all wearing pastels. I get to wear purple. Excited about that. The neckline is just very basic. It's a very plain shirt and so I need to dress it up a little bit and I thought I would make a long necklace. Um, let me go get some of my stash and let's go through it. So the first thing I think of is I need to wear a fleur de -lis. Uh, I don't know. I may wind up painting it or maybe not. We'll see how things turn out once I get all my beads and everything gathered up. But that could be an option that I could paint it. Um, we live in Louisiana. A lot of people love fleur de -lis here. And I think this will look really good on here. So then the other thing is I have all this sorry ribbon and I think I want to make some boho beads. You know those little fabric links that I make? I've got several videos about them but I thought I would get some of this um, sorry silk or sorry ribbon. Here let's get at a different angle. So here's my fleur de lis, here's my purple, and I have all this silk here, which, here, let's do this. <laughs> could use something like that. I've got this one. I think I really like this one though. This has more got the blues, a little bit of pink, some purple in there. I don't know. Do I want to be colorful, though? It's going to be a hard decision. Let's see what else is in here. There's another piece. i got to figure out which one I'm going to use. At first I thought, whoops. At first I thought I was going to use this one, but I might want some more color. Ooh, this would be pretty. Hmm. Maybe that one. It's between these two. <laughs> Let's put these other ones away. Okay, I have a tin can there that keeps getting in the way <laughs> with some of my stash that I'm digging into. Um, so I also have some bargain bead box that I got. I don't know when this was. It's called Violet Glade Collection. What month was this? This was last March. So we're talking about a year ago. Wouldn't these be pretty? Ooh, these would be pretty. Oh. I want some sparkle. So that's kind of what I'm looking for. Let's see what these are. Number three here. Um... Crystal Rondell beads. So they're just glass crystals. And let's see what this is. This is number five. Same thing. A violet mix. So I might use these. Um, this I could put around the outside of the link. Or these I could flank the sides. So um, since I'm using this Fleur de Lee, I'm going to need to have some wire. This is 20 gauge. I'm going to need to have some flat nose pliers, round nose pliers, and some wire cutters. All right, so I've already made three links. I need to make one more. What I did is I took a piece of the sari ribbon and I made um, four pieces out of this. Cut it into fours. <clears throat> and it winds up being about uh, 
nine and three quarters inches long. So the way I make these is I get my round nose pliers and I make a loop. And I just wrap it whichever way. You're not really going to see that, but you do need to tuck that end in so it's not poking out. And then I get my ruler. <clears throat> And I'm going to measure where I want this part to be about an inch. So once I, let's see if you can see what I'm doing here. Oh, I didn't tuck that in very well. There we go. Okay. So I'm going to put that wrapped part not part of what I'm measuring. And then I'm going to take my round nose pliers right at the one inch mark and wrap around a couple times. Now I'm, I'm working off the spool and I'm going to keep it on the spool <clears throat> because I'm going to take my ribbon here and I've got all these ribbons we got kind of a turquoise color we got more of a purple and pink and pink so it doesn't really matter I was going to try to make it either pink or the color down here but it doesn't really matter so however it comes out it comes out <laughs> if that makes any sense so I'm going to put the ribbon on and just start wrapping it around every which way And it can get a little fiddly, but it does not have to be perfect. So if you're one of these people who think that, you know, everything has to be perfect, it doesn't. It really doesn't. So once you get it all wrapped on there, you're going to continue to take your wire and wrap it around. I've got the cloth all on there so I can let go. It was all wrapped in the wire. So I'm going to go back down. And we'll go around a couple of times and then back down. Kind of crossing over the wire a little bit. And then I'm going to go around a couple of times, maybe one time, however, whatever you think. But once I get it wrapped, <clears throat> I'm going to cut that and then tuck it in. And one thing about boho, it doesn't have to be perfectly neat. You know, it, there is no perfection here. Okay, so I want to make sure, yep, that's not sticking out. So now I have four links, which is kind of interesting. These all look, look pretty much the same. This one's a little different, though, but it came from the same piece of sorry ribbon. So, let's see, let me get out my little crystals. I was going to put them on there, but I decided I may just make some crystal links. So we have this in the center. Oh, let's see, hmm. Hmm. 
Well, that's interesting. I don't know how I'm going to do this. Maybe I'll do this. Okay, I think I like that. <laughs> and then I'm just going to make some links with these to put in between here. Um... I think I'm going to do a messy wrapped loop. Always need to make sure you Tuck in your ends. That's really important. I do see some people that make wire jewelry and they don't tuck their ends in. And I'm like, oh, somebody's going to get scratched. <laughs> okay. I was going to say, that one doesn't want to get tucked in. All right. Let's see. Okay. I want these loops to be pretty consistent here. Let's see. I think that's good enough. Let me clip that. Now this one, when I tuck in the end, I need to be really careful. I don't get on my crystal and crack it. Okay. So let me do a couple more of these. See how that's going to be? I need at least one here. I don't think I'm going to put them here because they'll go through there and you won't see them. And they may, they may break the bead. These are going to be right there. So let me make at least three more of these and I'll be back. So I, I wired two links with these crystals. And then I thought, you know what? Maybe I'll mix it up a little bit. And I found these. They're just a dyed quartz and they are faceted. So I went ahead and wrapped a couple of those and now I'm thinking that these may be too small. Hmm. You know what? I just had a thought. Let me see. <clears throat> Do we have bead caps in here? We have bead caps. Okay. So maybe we can do this. Let me get the bead caps out. Let me get my wire. What if we do this? Okay, I want to. All right, those two, these things, these two match. So, what if we go here? Sorry. <laughs> so I've got these. Oh, I think I'm going to like this. Uh, so I'm going to need... and make that a link. Yeah. Because I want some bling on this thing.
still not tucked in there. <clears throat> Okay, slide these down. Oh yeah, I like that. Okay, let me make a couple of more of these and I'll be back. All right, so this is what I've come up with. Um, I need to get some jump rings. Probably use the bigger one. Hmm, I don't know if that's going to be big enough. Let me check this out. Uh, nope. All right, hmm. Plan B. I may have to wire something. Oh, wait. I have a bigger one. There's a bigger one. Let's see if this is going to be big enough. don't know if that's going to be big enough. Let me think about this. So I think it's going to work, but I'm going to need, let's see, two, four, six, eight. I'm going to need ten more jump rings. And I think I'm going to use this size. So I need one there, one there, one there, one there, and one there. And I'm going to need some chain. And I have this chain, but this is too small. This, this is a little thick, and that's just going to be a little wimpy for this. So I have this chain right here. Uh, it's, it's called a medium curved chain. And I think that's going to work really well. I don't know how much I'm going to need. Let me put this all together and then we'll measure and see how long this necklace winds up being. And we've got, oh, we need a clasp. But I would like, I would like a fancier clasp. So I'm going to dig around in my clasp selection and see what I have. I think this, again, is going to be too wimpy. Needs something a little bit more substantial. So let's put these jump rings on here and get this thing together. So I've got it finished, well not all finished, but up to the part where I need to add the chain. And I got to thinking, you know what, I don't need a class for this because it's just going to go right over my head. But I need to kind of figure out what size chain I want. So where do I want this to land? I don't like them too long. I like them about right here. So right where my collarbones are. 
So I'm going to take my chain. And it'll be about right there. So this, this is a pretty thick chain. So I'm going to go get my memory wire cutters. I don't want to mess up my nice uh, wire cutters. So I got my wire cutters. I'm going to measure again. You know, it's one of those, the saying goes measure twice, cut once. You can't cut more than once. <laughs> Okay, so I want it about right here. All right. So I'm going to cut about right there. And I'm going to open those jump rings up and put this on and we're done. Okay, let me open this up. These jump rings are pretty tough. <laughs> so sometimes I, I don't need two pliers to open it up, but the, with these I do. I want to make sure I get them closed all the way. And also you want to make sure that your chain isn't twisted. Right, it's all finished. How about that? And I do have earrings that will go with this. Now, I may wear this around a little bit to make sure this part's going to work. I may need to add another jump ring on there, or maybe another hmm, two jump rings. I don't know, but I'm going to wear this around a little bit. Uh, to make sure it's going to work okay. But look at that. Isn't that pretty? I think that's going to be perfect. And I want to show you the length. So you can just pull it over, put it over your head. And there we go. Like I said, this is going to look really nice. Oh yeah, look how pretty. I'm excited to wear it. What do you think of this style, this boho style? Are you a fan? <laughs> I sure am. So let me know down in the comment section below what you think of this style. Go check out, make sure I say her name right, Ayla. Like I said, I'll have a link to her YouTube channel down in the description box below, but go check her out to see what she's been doing for Leap Into My Stash. And let me know if you've been participating in Leap Into My Stash, because I'd like to go check out your video. Thanks for joining me. Y'all have a great day. This is Terry Jeanette with the Tapping Flamingo signing out for now. Bye-bye.